Hello people YouTube, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to uh, a vlog video. Out the bike today, it's the first time I've been out for over a week and then before that I was about three weeks. I think I've been out like three times in the last month or so, it's just I've not not really been doing much and I really feel, uh, like, I wouldn't say unfit but I feel I've lost a lot of any kind of peak energy that I had. Um, one of my subscribers was asking why I hadn't uploaded any videos. Well, basically, I, I fell in the shower last week, last Wednesday. Uh, I was coming out of the shower. My wife just came in at that point where I was standing, just about to get my towel. Now, I always put my towel is in the back of the door. Now, yep, I should move it somewhere closer, but I've, I've done it. I've done it a million times. So, basically, my wife was there. She came in. She, I said, it's kind of, shut that door, it's kind of a bit cold, shut the door, and then I said, could you grab my towel, but she, she didn't necessarily, she didn't ignore me, she was, she had stuff in her hands and her face, she was just going to wash that off, so I just went, oh, I'll just grab it myself, and I went to grab it, and I just, basically went down like a ton of bricks, um, both feet went, and I basically just ended up whacking my, my left hand side, on the, the bath, we've got a kind of bath and shower head. So I whacked my rib cage, I, so I bashed my knee just a tiny bit, but my rib cage took the brunt of it. And I mean, I was really, to be honest, I, I think I dodged a bullet. I could easily have a broken ribs, cracked ribs. I may even have cracked ribs, but I don't think I have because the, the pain's not really as, as, as bad. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty bad. As soon as I'd done it, I, I, I couldn't breathe. I was basically, my wife was coming up and saying, Are you okay? And I says, No, I, I, I just couldn't really breathe. I said, just, just give me room. So she gave me some room. And I basically just got up. It was one of those kind of things where you're still in that kind of adrenaline's kicking through. Uh, basically got up, kind of semi dry myself, but not really that much. And then I just went and lay in my, my bed with my bath towels that wrap around me and then put my pajamas on and basically kind of went to my bed and slept or tried to sleep um, and it was yeah it was sore at the time um, the next couple of days I actually went to my work Friday Saturday and it was pretty painful I didn't really have any real strong painkillers I did get strong painkillers like Monday Tuesday there which they helped so much because they just cut the pain flat but uh that's like a week, just over a week. Hours, over a week and a day, if you want, since it happened, and I'm feeling actually pretty decent. I'm out on the bike today. I do feel I don't have like a really deep intake of uh, breath. I still feel I'm quite not taking in as much, you know, intake, and I feel like I'm going over some bumps on my shoulders and I'm taking a couple of the bumps because this bike's quite compliant over bumps. I'm feeling it just jarring my back, just a tiny, tiny bit. It's not like massive pain, but it's just a little, and I might cut my, my breath a little bit. But uh, yeah, it was pretty nasty. But as I say, I think I dodged a bullet really. You know, I could have, could have really been really, really nasty. So, hey, now today I got a free sachet of, well, this is obviously a jumbo, a auto jumbo bottle, but this is the. Uh, Green tea and ginger from uh, what's the name of the company? Active Root. I think Active Root are based in Edinburgh. Let me double check that. I've had a couple of free samples before. I think I had just a normal ginger one, but this is a ginger and green tea. It's really quite nice. It's quite flavourful. Um, it's not really any fizz. I've been using a lot of the SIS stuff. But I find that the sachets of the SIS are really good for flavour. The tablets are a little bit weaker. I mean, it's not meant to be, you know, it's not meant to be like a, a full flavour drink, but it's nice to have that little kind of, that little taste boost. And I've also got this. This is the uh, toffee walnut, 
10 pence. I think it goes out in date July. So I think these are in Super Drug. Super Drug is actually quite a good shop. If you're, if you're in the UK and there's a Super Drug near you, check the healthy stuff. The, like the SIS, energy bars, gels, tablets, stuff like this, energy bars, because they do sell, but sometimes um, they don't sell as much. Um, and that's probably off the back of the, the COVID-19, because the shop's just recently opened. So they've probably got a lot of stock. So I've got quite a few of them. I think the other one I've got is peanut butter. Oh no, sorry, it's kind of It's just like a kind of OT bar, tree kind of OT bar. It's not bad for 10 pence. But yeah, oh, I might have to wipe back a little bit. Oh, that's maybe. We need to adjust. Oh. oh, that's better. Yeah, I can feel my back just starting to get a little bit kind of. You know, that way it was starting to eat because I was kind of arched over a little bit. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a nice day. I'm not going to push it much today. I'm just really going to go. I don't even know if I'm going to go out like that bit up towards the hill, I might just go back and go this way because it's, I just don't have the I just don't have the, the energy I know myself, I don't have like like my breathing capacity is not not there but there's people out here in boats uh, it's kind of went back to, I would say normality but um, kind of walk towns get to that stage now where it's things are getting a little bit more relaxed um, you know, people are out doing stuff, so it's it's kind of getting back to. I see some kind of normality. But yeah, it's been a quiet couple of weeks. Um, why I haven't been out my bike? To be honest, I don't know. But prior to my my rib injury, um, I just I don't know. I just I went. Uh, I did that. That was the day. I think the Monday I did my. I did my 40 mile route, I did 20, 22 miles, I did the loop the way down to the electric brain and back up. Oh, just got a splash. Picked my wife up and then we went up to see my, my, my daughter, my granddaughters, up, up in Troon. So Troon's about 9 miles then back, it's roughly all in, it was about 40 miles I did. Uh, probably 3,500 calories. And then the Tuesday, I, I must admit, I was a little bit. I wouldn't say I was, because uh, I was working that day, but I wouldn't say that I was like, like spent. I was tired, but I could have, I could have went out my bike. Um, but I had a kind of quiet day. The weather was a little bit sort of rainy and stuff, but it was nice. In fact, it was really warm that day. I went on my bike, um, and then really, I just, I, I, I was, I was working. I've been working quite, it's quite intense at work through the the COVID. It's quite, it's hard to explain, but it, it's it's quite intense. Um, so I had that. And I just felt, when I, when I came home, I just didn't have any real sort of get up and go to go cycling. Uh, I'd say it's about maybe two weeks and four or five days. And I'm out my bike. I just went a wee cycle, not really that far. And then I think I went a, for a cycle on a Saturday. Probably not Saturday, but Saturday before, so maybe just over a, a, week, and, a week and a half ago. Uh, and I actually went up that hill and it oh, absolutely killed me. Uh, but yeah, it was, it's, been, it's, been a, it's been a struggle. I don't know why. Just you get days where you just can't really be bothered going your bike but yeah it's nice out here today a little bit of oh, this helmet sticks there's a wee bit of sticks out of the back a little bit of cloud cover but it's nice and warm it's not really too too chilly so plan is I'm probably just going to cycle probably back into the town not really going to go far just I don't have I just don't have the stamina I need to build it back up over the next couple of weeks uh, as I say, when I did that 40 mile, you know, I had the stamina, I had, had the energy, and I just, I kind of let it go over the next couple of weeks, so, I could get there, as I say, back out, that's the main thing, but this rib injury might take a couple of days yet to sort of, 
can I heal up? Yeah, that's quite a nice drink. It's quite a nice taste to it. But there's no fizz to it. It's just kind of flat. With the SIS stuff, it's got a bit of a... Got a bit of a fizz. Oh. Crow thinks I've got some to eat, but I haven't. They? Well, I've got this. I don't think you'll like the toffee walnut. Oh, it's a vegan protein bar. Oh, God. So one thing I'm not going to go is vegan. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably head by. I might do another piece when I go in into the town. Anyway, take care. Catch you later. Bye. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Folk just... Oh, look at this. This is bad. This is bad. Hey, watch this sand. Sand's always tricky. These folk maybe. Oh, there we go. Ah. along this way. <laughs> audio part in, I'll leave it in, but the bump absorbs through your shoulders and then it just goes right up through.
Fabrício. Fabrício.